ocean and I'm surrounded by sharks. My goal is to survive the next 50 hours lost at sea. But first, I have to make it to that boat. Ah, you better hurry. Da, 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 The boat is so far away. Ah, oh, that is terrifying. There's so many sharks out here, but I made it to the boat. I feel like I'm gonna throw up. Bye, Matt. We're gonna miss you. Have a nice boating trip. So this is where I'll be spending the next 50 hours on this small boat all by myself in the middle of nowhere, and I'm already so seasick. Next, it was time for my friends to officially leave me in the middle of the ocean. So this is the very most front part of my boat, and back here is the rest of my boat. And as you can see, my boat is extremely small. I do not have a lot of room to survive out here. And you can almost see land way out there, but that is way too far for me to swim to. So I went to grab this, and it doesn't even work. <laughs> I almost just fell in off the side. So I've been on the boat for my first hour. I have no idea what I'm doing. No idea how to man a boat. This is extremely dangerous. These waves are crazy. Look at that wave. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Ah, I just fell. These waves are crazy. At this point, I realized how dangerous the ocean is, but I wanted to see what items I have to survive. It is so hot out here. I barely have any items to survive. I have this flare gun with no bullets inside of it, so that's great. I have a knife. That might come in handy for something, maybe. Some sunscreen. I have this paddle to eventually maybe paddle me back to land, which I don't think is gonna happen. I'm gonna start exploring in all these cabinets and stuff. Ooh, what do we got here? Wires. Florida saltwater fish guide. Bull sharks, tiger sharks, and hammerhead sharks. There could literally be anything down there in that water below me. Giant squids. I already swam with sharks to get here. It is so freaking eerie out here and hot. Luckily, I found something that will help with the extreme temperatures. One thing I need to get working on is shade. If I can set this up above me somehow, I'll be able to have a lot more shade. It's so rocky. It's going to be impossible to set this up out here by myself. I've managed to set most of this tarp up. It's still not the most shade, but it's way better than before. So it'll definitely help. I'm so hot. I'm gonna be using the salt water to cool myself off. It is so freaking hot out here. While I was feeling super sick, the team had a different problem. So he's out there in the middle of nowhere and we're on land. So what are we gonna eat? Five star restaurant, of course. <laughs> we are eating good. I don't know about you guys, but I'm getting the lobster tail. I'm feeling a steak. Now let's see what we got to eat. We have lasagna with meat sauce or breakfast skillet. Sounds delicious. As I was prepping to eat, my friend's five-star meal arrived. Oh, delicious. So there it is. It's basically just powdered food with noodles. I'm not sure if you're supposed to cook this or eat it dry, but I don't really have a choice, so. This is not good at all, but it's all I have to eat. This salad is bomb. This is so good. I can tell you're wearing half of it. Gotta save it for later. I do have to say, however, this food is disgusting. I'm pretty seasick. This is an amazing view to be eating dinner. It's getting really laid out. It looks like there might be a storm coming in. I hope it doesn't rain on me all night. All I have is this light and that small light right there. This is not gonna be a fun night. First bathroom break on the boat was a success. I didn't fall in and now it's about to get super dark out here. Every single splash in the nighttime, I'm just gonna assume it's a shark and it's gonna be terrifying out here. Once the sun finally set, it was time for my first night lost at sea. There's no way I'm gonna sleep good tonight, but I'll see you in the morning. <laughs> It's the next morning. I'm so freaking hot. I slept horrible. My neck hurts like crazy. <laughs> it is so miserable out here and no one can hear me. While I was having the worst day of my life in the middle of the ocean, my friends were about to have the best day of their lives. Here's the credit card. There's no limit on this card. This is a big mistake. We're spending all of this. Is this the greatest day ever or what? It will be. They decided to start their day with a helicopter ride over the city. This is the greatest day ever. I feel like I'm getting delusional out here. Every now and then, there's a little piece of seaweed that floats by. Those are basically my only friends that I have. I've been keeping count. I think I've either seen 27 of them or the same one 27 times. So up here is where you drive the boat, but unfortunately nothing works and the boat is completely dead in the water. I did, however, find that there's a secret room in here, but it is locked and there's no way for me to get inside of it. So I'm gonna try to figure out a way. I don't know if I have something to pick the lock. I'm gonna be in here for a long time, so I'll definitely be able to look and try to see if I can find the key. Being in there, I feel like would be way, way, way better than being out here. I've mainly just been sitting here on this edge, which might not be a good idea because I've almost fallen off multiple times. Luckily, the waves died down a lot. When I first got out here, they were massive. The water was splashing everywhere in here. I literally thought the boat was gonna sink. There's been multiple times that I've almost fallen off and I'm extremely scared that this boat is just gonna sink. So I wanna make sure my life vest works. I only have one of these. 
I know what you're thinking right now. Why would I throw my one life vest out there? Because I have this harpoon. Right. No, 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 no. It is so far. If I lose this. Come on. <laughs> Please bring it to me, Wave. My life vest is all the way out there. Come back. I need it so bad. Why did I do that? I thought this harpoon would work. In about 20 minutes and it's closer. I got it. No, I don't. Oh, I got it. It's so freaking heavy. I have never been so excited in my life. The life vest is back. This is my new friend. I'm gonna name it Lifey. <laughs> So lonely, I miss my friends. So we are at a water sports center right now and we're about to have the best day of our lives. Yeah. Woo! We're getting ready to do water jet packs. Are you the guy that's about to turn me into water Iron Man? Yes, sir. So you're telling me I'm about to go on that thing? That looks gnarly, sign me up. <laughs> oh, Big Matt, you are killing it, boy! This is so much fun, this is the best day ever! This is so much fun. I wonder what Matt's doing right now. It's hour 25, which means even though I'm halfway done, I still have 25 miserable hours ahead of me. I have done countless challenges, and this is by far the hardest, so please subscribe. We're spending so much money. I don't even know what we just paid for. Jet skis. Literally the best day ever. I can't imagine a better day. We're having so much fun, Hayden. That was really fun, but I'm really worried about Matthew. Don't worry about him, he's fine. Let's go have more fun, guys. Let's do it. Last night sucked really bad and it's starting to get dark again, so I need to figure out a way to get inside of this room. But it's freaking locked. Come on. And after 20 minutes, I'm not able to get into the door. I'm getting really seasick. I think I'm gonna try to go to sleep early tonight. I'm not gonna give up. I'm using too much energy. I'm gonna try again tomorrow. So me and Lifey are gonna try to get some sleep. I never thought I'd be friends with a life vest. It's the last day on the trip. It feels like I've been out here forever. I'm extremely hungry, and I just got the worst sleep of my life. But honestly, I just really, really miss my friends. While well, Matt is struggling, we are currently driving on the way to go have some more fun. Woo! I'm starving. I think I'm gonna try to catch a fish. But first, I need to find some bait. Whoa, big wave coming, big wave. Ah, where am I gonna find some bait? Just a bunch of rope. What do I check, what do I check? All right, let me check the cooler. Ooh, a paper clip. I can use this to try to break into that room later. But look, oranges. I can use this as bait. I think since it's really bright and orange, maybe it'll attract the fish. This should work. For the next hour, I tried fishing because the packaged food is terrible. So I'm out here fishing, and I just realized even if I do manage to catch a fish somehow, there's no way for me to cook it. So basically, everything I'm doing is just a massive waste of time. Oh, wait, I think I caught something. Oh, look, it's breakfast skillet. Yay. Uh, I hate this! Guys, even though we've been having a ton of fun, I'm really starting to miss Matt. Yeah, it's kind of weird not having him here with us. I was having a ton of fun at first, but now it's just not as fun without him. So I decided I'm going to be trying to break into the cabin with this paper clip and this knife. Hopefully this goes well. Come on. Do something. Please, I want to get in here. Oh my gosh! I'm in! What's in here? It's a bed! There's been a bedroom in here this entire time. It's actually way hotter in here, though. Oh, it's kind of making me seasick looking out there. Oh, I, I gotta get out of here. I'm gonna throw up. Going into that room made me so sick. I don't think I'm going back in there. I need some water on me. So after finally breaking into there, unfortunately it makes me extremely motion sick. And all I really found was this stuffed animal shark. Just a bunch of stupid papers that tell me what type of boat this is. That doesn't help me at all. Five hours to go. Stupid seaweed, number 28. It's so hard not to just be seasick the entire time. The waves just go up and down and up and down. I've officially been on this miserable boat for 49 hours, meaning I only have one hour left. And the waves are starting to get crazy again, but my rescue boat should be on the way by now. We're coming, buddy! This is pretty crazy. The waves are huge. I hope he's okay. It's starting to get really bad out here again. Three, two, one. I've officially spent 50 hours lost at sea. Now it's time for my friends to come and save me. There they are, guys! Guys! Oh my god, we found him! I see him! I see him! I'm gonna read the book! Ah, come on, guys! Come on, Matthew! Get on! Come on! Ah, 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 ah. I just survived 50 hours last to see. That's it for this video. New videos every Tuesday. Make sure you guys subscribe. I'll see you guys next week. Bye!